Welcome to your Tea Time Tip. I'm Terry Miskolsi, Director of Instruction for Brown Golf here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today's tip is a takeoff of last week's tip about ball position. We're now going to talk about stance and how the feet are placed on the ground in relationship to the ball position for a long club, medium club, short club, pitch shot, and chip shot. Okay, let's see how the feet are actually placed on the ground here. Now, I've taken, I've placed my feet with a long golf club. In this case, I've taken the driver. Now, the feet, the back foot in particular, is going to be placed on a line that is perpendicular to your target line. And the reason for that is to give some support to your golf swing as you go back into the top of the swing. The front foot it is slightly towed outward. Now there's a very good reason for it to be towed outward. You have to remember that in your stance your knee is a hinge joint. Your hip is a ball socket joint. So as you take the swing and you're moving forward the foot being slightly towed outward will move with the hip as you turn going into the finish of your golf swing. So that's why the foot is slightly to towed out. If you keep it too square and you go this way, you put a lot of pressure against the knee. So when you place your feet on the ground, the back foot is perpendicular to your target line, the front foot is slightly towed outward. Now, the width of the stance. How wide should it be? The width of the stance for the driver is measured shoulder width on the outside of the shoulders to the inside of the feet. Now that's for the driver. Now I'll come over, I'll take my five iron, which is sort of my medium golf club. And as we talked last week about ball position, I take my the back foot, the back foot will move in the width of the foot. I set myself up and now the stance is going to be shoulder width measured from the outside of my shoulders down to the middle of each foot. Now I take my short golf club. In this case, I'll take a nine iron. I take my stance once again. I move it the width of my foot in closer to my front foot. Remember, as we talked last time, the ball position remains constant, but now my stance is measured from the outside of my shoulders to the outside of each foot. And that's the width of the stance according to the length of the golf club and according to the length of the swing that we're going to take. Now those are your full golf swings. But if I go into pitching, I bring my back foot in again. And I go into chipping, I bring my back foot in again. Now everybody thinks that I move the ball off to, into my back foot, but in relationship to my front foot, Remember, it is always the same. Even though I brought my back foot from out to in, the back foot still remains perpendicular to my target line. The front foot still remains slightly towed out. The weight distribution on my feet, it stays evenly distributed on the whole of the back foot and evenly distributed on the whole of the front foot. So when we talk stance, we talk the width of the stance, how the back foot is positioned, how the front foot is positioned, and how the weight is evenly balanced on the whole of each foot. Do that and you bring balance into your golf swing so you can make more birdies next time you tee it up.